All right, so uh, I did Water Glass for the first time in two and a half years since Age of Triumph came out. I think I only did it like once or twice back then because I was like, oh, you know, what's the point of doing the raids? You know, I mean, like six months we've got Destiny 2 come out, or coming out, and I'm going to play the fuck out of that. <laughs> we saw how that worked out. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't think I was ever going to do a Destiny 1 raid ever again. I thought the community was dead. And while it has shrunken ginormously, there are still a very dedicated uh, player base on this game. I There is lots and lots of people, um, especially on the last Destiny City Discord. Um, they allow anybody to join in. Uh, and they have uh, PS4, Xbox, um, Xbox One, and then I'm not sure if they have PS3 and Xbox 360. You can look. However, if you're playing on those consoles, so I doubt you're going to really find anybody to do these things with. Uh, PS4 is probably going to have the most luck considering that there's a shitload of people that play on PS4 for Destiny compared to Xbox. Their soul's definitely Xbox, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and just talk about what I got. Let's get that out of the way. So I got the... I actually did two runs. I did one last night and I did one a couple hours ago. I had... Uh, I So the, my first run, I popped two Knuckles of AO, so keep that in mind. Um, because I already had one in my inventory, and then I, I did fresh, um, so I was able to get that another Buns of Ale. And then this morning when I did it, I had a some guy had a Templar checkpoint, so I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll go do that. And I was really hoping to get Fatebringer, but no, nah, no Fatebringer yet. But I have gotten some good shit. I got Atheon's Epilogue. This is just, I'm, I'm not going in chronological order here. I got Atheon's Epilogue, uh, Found Verdict, whatever the Rocco Launcher name is. I got a couple armor pieces too, which is awesome. Um, and... Uh, did I say Vision of Confluence? I think I did. Um, and yeah, I was really excited to get Found Verdict and Vision of Confluence specifically because uh, I just really wanted to use those guns. I remember ha I went back and did Vought of Glass in like year two um, on year one or whatever because we needed to, to do it for uh, the Stranger's Rifle Quest. Um, whatever it was called. The Patience of Time? No, that wasn't it. What was, what was it called? It was just this, the Exotic Stranger's Rifle. Um, and I, I went to go do that and obviously you have to do you have to get Atheon's head or whatever. So I just went the entire thing and i got found verdict and i ended up using that gun i really liked it and like the cosmodrome and stuff so i'm glad i got it again uh, i'm really excited about that so th these raids have like bitching ass shotguns man we got the found verdict you got the uh the sword breaker i think it was um that one i use a lot you got the uh whatever the king's fall one is i use the king's fall one a lot i really like that one um and then the the wrath fucking sucks um but, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and talk about the uh, just the overall tone of this raid. Um, in terms of visuals, I think this is the second best looking raid ever. Uh, King's Fall being easily my favorite. I just absolutely adore the look of the Dreadnought. Um, but, <laughs> oh my fucking Christ, this raid looks amazing. It, it, I don't remember this raid having, like, this good of, like, visuals and tone and everything and the sounds of this raid are so cool specifically the oracles and the templar sound uh which is just fucking incredible it sounds so fucking cool um but uh yeah man i i don't really know what to say here i i'm i'm just blown away by this raid i don't remember this raid ever being this good uh this is the most fun i've had in a raid uh in a very long time it's more fun than i've had in destiny 2 which really goes to show how uh just bad the destiny 2 raids are uh and they they definitely keep you coming back because they have random rolls um for their weapons but uh i think i prefer the curated rolls better i think i do i honestly think i i prefer it and also keep in mind the destiny 1 raids were a lot more unrewarding um they had at least from what i could tell i mean without like knuckles or a veil or like moldering shards or whatever these raids are very unrewarding compared to Destiny 2. You can still get some good shit from it, but they're not like as rewarding. You don't have the sheer amount of hidden chests and stuff you can get weapons from. You don't get as much weapons uh, because there's not really as much encounters in, in Vault compared to the other ones. So they just feel less rewarding, but that's also a great thing because it keeps you coming back more. Um, and yeah, I just... Wow. Uh, like I said, the ambience and the sounds and everything about this raid is just fantastic. Uh, the Templar itself was really fun, and then Gorgons was also pretty fun, uh, even though it goes by really quick. Um, and then you have, I think when things really start kicking into gear, at least for me, like in terms of like fun factor, is the Gatekeeper, uh, or as I like to call him, the Gatekeeper. Uh, the Gatekeeper is so much fun to face against. And not, not that... 
I'm talking about the encounter specifically. Obviously, you have the gatekeeper at first, but like the encounter is so much fun. Uh, going into the teleporters and stuff like that and shooting the oracles and seeing those really cool visuals and calling stuff out. And okay, okay we got to go over here. Uh, shoot the supplicants, guys. Shoot them in. All right, coming out. Everyone, you know, it's, yeah, it's it's really cool. All right, go in the mid. Go in mid. It's just fucking super cool. And then you have to defend the confluxes and all that. And then, boom, you're done with that. And a big-ass fucking Minotaur walks out, Atheon. And you just look at him and you're like, oh, holy fucking shit he looks so fucking cool he looks so fucking awesome and i was just like staring at him for a little bit uh and then as you can see in the background this is the atheon's and atheon encounter and uh yeah we just did it and we're going to mid now we're shooting the fuck out of him we're just lasering him and then i had to <laughs> i had to switch the sleeper i forgot about that so my damage in this raid was fucking terrible i i didn't do a whole lot I was missing out on shots and stuff like that. And you, just look how like it glows your weapons too. I mean, look at that. I, it looks so fucking cool. I, I don't know, the, like the blue glow and shit like that. I think it's whenever you're in that little bubble thing. I fucking killed myself. I was in the bubble. Uh, I, I was like, what? What's going on? Why am I not? Um, and I die here. Yeah. So I, I was kind of fucked. Uh, I'm actually usually the one who's like really good in the raids. Uh, and I actually it was really good earlier, and it, we did Oryx um, after this raid as well, because some guy needed help with Oryx. I was like, ah, fuck it, I already have everything I want from King's Fall, but I'll do it with you. Um, and, yeah. Uh, so, in terms of the Atheon encounter, though, this is where it's like, oh my god, it's so much fun. It's so simple, but so much fun. And because we're doing the challenge mode, we have to each shoot an Oracle. Um, the regular one is significantly actually easier. Um, but, now actually the challenge mode might be easier than the regular one. Uh, like, the Oryx one is way easier than the regular one. Um, so, yeah, I think I think it might be easier, because you just have one person shoot each Oracle. You don't have to worry about getting multiple of them or whatever. Um, so, yeah, you just go in and into the portal. You raise the little things, three on each side, and then three people randomly get teleported. They're like, okay, then they tell whatever planet they're on. So there's Venus and Mars. Venus is on right. Mars is on left. Um, so you're like, okay, and then the guy inside calls, okay, either Venus or Mars, there's three of them inside, one of them has the little relic and cleanses people, the other two are shooting the oracles from left to right, um, and, well, not not in challenge, but uh, once one person, once the first person gets the oracle, um, once actually the middle guy gets the minotaurs and shit killed, yet they just book it towards the portal, um, whatever side the, uh, the relic, like I said, the relic keeper Books it, and you just, and then the guys on the outside pop in real quick, take an, uh, take an oracle, and then go back in and wait by the portal for a cleanse. Or you could just go to mid straight up. You can go by mid or whatever. Uh, people usually just wait outside the portal or whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, you go to mid and you start fucking damaging the shit out of him. You put a bubble in the back, usually weapons of light, uh, and then you just start butt fucking him. You just start screwing him up. And I think this is where we kill him. I could be wrong. Actually, I don't think this is where we kill him. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then obviously you have the little counter on the bottom left of like, okay, guys, we got to fucking go. Like, right goddamn now. What the fuck are we doing, dude? Uh, and, you know, usually a bit like three seconds. And, yeah, the encounter is so simple and so much fun. Uh, and, yeah, just look at the way it, like, glows your weapons, too, like, in front of that thing. It looks like, it, I don't know. I, I wish they had, like, more of that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it looks super cool. And I didn't realize how good the stability was on the Atheon's epilogue. I thought... It was, I, I remember it being pretty shit on the Adept, but it was actually really good. You get fitted stock on there or whatever, whatever it is. Uh, it is really fucking solid, and I think I die from that. No, I don't. Uh, and I go back in, and I'm like, okay, where's, where's the Oracle I need to shoot? I was like, okay, make sure no one else is getting that one. I shoot that, and then I hop back in, and I wait for the cleanse. Um, yeah, so what, what can I say, man? This is when we kill him right here. I'm just going to leave this on right now. I, I want to just look at this myself. Uh, I, that's all I need to say about the raid, man. But I just want to see this. And uh, let me just check this out real quick. Look at that. Look how he just looks so cool. Vaping Adept. And then I get the Vision of Confluence in this. My primary is full. Um, so, yeah. What can I say, man? This raid was very, very cool. And as you can see, I got the little achievement there my Age of Triumph book. I'm not sure uh, what I got it for, though. Uh, and that was like my second Fatebringer Adept that I've ever gotten. I already have one in my vault. I just want the regular one. Uh, I might go grind some 
strikes and stuff for the Imago Loop. I think I might do that in a little bit because I have like two or three skeleton keys I could use. Um, so I might go do that and then try to get into a Vex Strike. I'm not sure if you could just queue into a Vex Strike and then get it. I don't know. I think I'd rather just go into Heroic Playlist. And uh, yeah, this raid overall is just so much fun. I love this doing this raid so much. And uh, yeah, peace.